We're starting here with a lapel cross made very simply from two palm branches just woven together using what's been called the boondoggle type weave. So I'm going to take two strands here which have been stripped off of a large palm frond. I'm going to take and clip off the frayed or broken edges to make that even. And then more or less to the end, cut off the more narrow part here, like that. Then make a simple cross, laying one on top of the other. And bring, just to make sure you're in the middle, bring the two together and just, if you want to say by your eye, measure it off. The same thing true on this side here. So you want to grab the middle of both of the palms and start your boondoggle or box weave, as I call it, one over the other, one over the next, almost like folding a box up. And your last palm leaf goes under the first one you laid down. and you form that square box top, if you want to call it that. Then just turn it over once and do this repeat the same process. Lay one down over the other in a perpendicular square fashion and put the last one through the bottom of the first. What's important here is to kind of keep it tight without crimping. Then you take and form a loop with each and the first one of your leaves and do the same thing with each and every one of them making kind of a, those ribbons that sometimes people wear for various causes crossed over. So you see the same type of loop. I'm going to take and cut this off here. I'm going to make the loop here and place it through the perpendicular section. Because this is very long, I'm going to cut that off. And the same thing here to get it out of my way. And then lastly, the last loop under the perpendicular locked section. And we're going to end up cutting that as well. So you have basically, this is the cross that later becomes this, but how do we get from here to here? You can actually leave it like this, and depending on how long your leaves are or how wide they are, that depends how wide the cross is going to be. So we're going to pull each of the two leaves together on each arm of the cross and press down at the top, which creates the triangle, or the point of that bar of the cross. And you repeat that same pre process here, holding the two leaves together as much as you can, and pressing down until you've completed all four. So you'll have almost what you see here. This one looks a little bit uh, more even because there's one more step. And that step is you take the cross you just made and place it in a heavy book, a thick book, 
put another book on top of it, and let it dry for at least uh, eight hours or so. And then when it dries and is flat and pressed in the book, this is what you have. And here you take this and can pin it to your lapel on Palm Sunday as a sign of the connection between Palm Sunday, all of Holy Week, and the Lord's Resurrection.